Good morning. Back to Two Sides Garden. It's like the sunflowers coming up. They should actually be out now. But still a beautiful sight. The green, light green. No dark green for some reason. They're still getting all their photosynthesis that they need. Over here, look like the big sunflowers coming, coming out. Coming out, facing the sun. One of my beautiful sunflowers have came out. Let's take a look at it. Beautiful. One on the right hasn't actually came through, but the one on the left just just bloomed up. See, pan down. You see the yellow on the left? It's the watermelon. If I remember correctly, that's the big watermelon coming out. And I see our resident quail. You can see him up there on the tip of the roof. He's just waiting until I go, thinking that I'm going to eat him. But I'm the one that provides the seeds. But I think they know that. Yes. The sunflower. Big, giant sunflower ready to open up. I see some ants in there. I'm going to look up and find out if ants help the sunflower. Or it harms the sunflower. It's a serious issue with the daggone fire ants. But let me see. Also, you see this coming up out of the from the sunflower? That's actually kiwi. Kiwi vine. It's amazing. Let's see if I have something for it though. Okay. Got my I just keep checking my asparagus. Of course, this is a potato coming up. It's been eaten by some insect, the leaves. And we have potato over here coming on up. As we keep panning over, as we see raspberry. Hopefully that's raspberry. It's still, still strong. Everybody's getting plenty of water, especially since this is early in the morning. Yeah, we're going to get some good watermelon out of that there. As long as I keep getting the water coming, they will not be thirsty. At least they will not be thirsty. This is a beautiful potato plant coming out nice and big and that looks like a corn stalk coming up out of there that's nice and big and huge I guess we'll have some corn at least for a couple of days and come to think of it you know corn as we see it today it is actually genetically modified organism, a GMO. And I, if I remember correctly, and this is watermelon here, it is also GMO. Thinking of uh, GMOs, it's amazing. Thinking that they just discovered or just tried GMOs. GMOs has been in effect almost in the 1800s. Their idea or scheme was to actually, and it has cornered the market because if you notice, corn 
is plentiful here in the states but as far as it being elsewhere in the world as an original crop it's not just figured that would be an interesting tidbit genetically modified There's several other foods that we eat today that have been genetically modified. Us thinking that it's just been created in a couple of years. It's actually been here, like I said, during the 1800s. So, as they feed the cows with corn is something so unnatural for the cows to eat and everything else to eat because it's not designed by the creator it's been modified of course we wonder why we have all the problems we have now it basically stems from us thinking we can genetically modify organisms and survive. The reason why the Creator has designed certain foods, certain plants, a certain way, because it agrees with our body, so it allows us to assimilate proper growth, proper health. This right here, I really thought it was going to be carrot. I actually pulled it up from the roots. I pulled it up, but it was not a carrot. So I'm really stumped until I actually see the blossom which it looks like it's about to blossom from up here. Excuse the airplane noise. It's a blossom coming. Hopefully it comes on out. And then I'll try to figure out what plant it actually is. This is actually my first attempt at a beautiful garden trying to keep my mind on self-sustaining foods where we can grow our own and it's actually the freshest of the fresh being able to grow your own foods in a little space but you can grow it everyone can do it you can grow something in a little pot it's amazing how the creator design these plants to grow And yes, more life to all, less life to none.